Mes chers amis, My dear friends, I thirst had clamored Jesus on the cross. A pitying soldier had found nothing better than dipping a sponge into a brew that was there and bring it close to the lips of this God in his agony. The soldiers did not understand Jesus' thirst. Jesus thirsted for souls. It was their salvation that he needed to fulfill the consuming order of his immense charity for mankind. This word, my friends, Jesus still causes it to be heard by all those who draw near to him, who give themselves to him, who aspire to his intimacy. I thirst, he told them, pray for sinners, mortify yourself for them, suffer for them so that I may save them. At this heart-breaking call, souls of apostles, martyrs, doctors, confessors, virgins and saints arise throughout the centuries. They rush towards the cross, they seize it with all their energy, throw it on their shoulders and go with a crushed body, but with a heart full of love and a soul flooded with heaven to meet the souls. À la rencontre des âmes. This is the secret of conversions, this is the secret of all the graces which fall from heaven unto earth. This is even the secret of the temporal blessings which are being bestowed unto us. God does everything, God grants everything to prayer and by the merits of the saints. Once again, we must admit that we misunderstand these truths. How many times have I heard? Why so many prayers? Why the penance? Why do men and women religious force themselves to renounce so much? What good are the Carmelites, the poor Clares, the handmaids of Our Lady? What good are the Trappists, the Carthusians, the servants of Our Lady? But can't you see that they are doing penance for you, who commit fault after fault and swallow iniquity like water? Don't you see that they love God and pray to Him for you, who sacrifice everything for your selfishness and never pray or pray so wrongly? So you do not see that they are restoring the balance broken by your faults and inclining heaven to forgive? Can't you see that they are the lightning rods of depraved society? Tell me, my dear friends, who are the preachers, scholars, apologists, even missionaries who have converted as many souls as little Thérèse of the child Jesus has converted? And what about Saint Marguerite Marie, to whom the Sacred Heart came to ask her to pray for the conversion of souls and to offer sufferings for the conversion of souls? and to make reparation for the sins that offend his sacred heart. And what about Saint Mary Faustina, who also prayed a lot and suffered a lot for the redemption of souls? All her life, united to the merciful Jesus and to Mary, Mother of Mercy, she implored, begged and suffered so that mercy be granted to sinners. So saddened, St. Mary Faustina suffered to see souls fall into hell. So, my dear friends, let all of you be souls of atonement, souls who console the heart of Jesus and the heart of Mary, souls who care to pray every day for the conversion of sinners and repeat often during your days this prayer that the Blessed Virgin taught the children of Fatima. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Then, 
all together for the salvation of souls, for the salvation of our souls. Let us tell this good mother, sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, save us. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon all of you and abide with you forevermore. Amen.